our team coverage of the ABC 7 First Alert continues this afternoon. Storm tracker Iris Lopez tracking the bitter cold. ABC 7's Rachel Phillips giving us a look outside. But we do want to get started with Iris. Iris, you're standing by with our first forecast. Got some good snow out there. Now it's just bitter cold. Yeah, now it's just those much colder temperatures that we're really going to be focusing on. That's why we're keeping that ABC 7 first alert in place. you got to remember, definitely need to bring your pets indoors, cover those pipes and plants as well. Bring them indoors if you can. But let's take a look at what we're dealing with right now. This is the wind chill. So temperatures outside are in the teens, but it feels like 5 degrees here in El Paso. 6 for Las Cruces, negative for Ridoso 15 and negative 4 in the Cloudcroft area. We're tracking temperatures below average. That's what we saw for today. 39 was the official high. You could definitely feel that in the air this afternoon, and you can definitely feel these cold temperatures right now. 16 El Paso, 18 for Las Cruces. Tomorrow, it's going to be another cold day, but will we have chances for storms? We'll take a closer look at that forecast, and we'll see how much snow we saw earlier today coming up. Iris, thank you. Unprecedented snowfall and winter-like conditions in mid-February. The sudden change in weather might have brought you outside or convinced you to stay home. ABC 7's Rachel Phillips joining us live right now to share exactly what El Pasoans think of the snow day. Rachel, you're from Australia. Had you ever even seen the snow in, per in person? JC, Kate, this is my first time ever seeing snow fall from the sky. Very exciting times here today. You know what, though? A lot of El Pasoans were also very excited too. Snow, snow, and more snow all day today. Cheer, crisp, and caution. Just a few words sum up a snow day in the borderland. It's been crazy. I woke up to this and I was like, oh, it's so pretty, but I mean, it is cold as well. So like, I mean, off of what happened in Fort Worth and like the crash, I mean, it is like a precaution to like drive in the snow. There were numerous traffic crashes along I-10 due to snow and ice but thankfully, those have now cleared. That didn't stop the people from making snowballs, even if they weren't very good at it. It came out horrible because, you know, we don't really have that much practice here in El Paso, but it was fun playing with it. The coldest air and temperatures since 2011 did bring a bit of gloom for all the lovers out there, with plenty cancelling their big Valentine's Day plans. But owner of Pelican's restaurant, Jim Diaz, thinks it's probably for the best. Yeah, it's, it's pretty dangerous and we could always make up Valentine's another day. If you're finding it tough to stay warm, the city has seven warming centres in El Paso that will open at 8 a.m. Monday. If they feel the need to come here, know that you're safe here and you can warm up for a little while and then find your next step. While the centres are closed for now, the city has other resources for you if you have nowhere to go tonight during this cold weather. Delta Centre, which is available for anyone who needs support, so we can always find. We also have a relationship with the Red Cross, so we can certainly find a different outlet for you. And KJC, there's still lots of snow around. As you can see behind me, there's a heap here at ABC7. Oh my God. All right, I gotta get going. Rachel's Fields reporting live. I've got a snowball fight to get into. A scary sight on the interstate earlier this morning. This was one of two crashes involving dozens of vehicles in Hudson County. The good news, no fatalities reported on the roadway. Authorities were able to keep the freeway open with at least one lane at all times. However, it's just a good reminder to be extra careful on the interstate if you're heading out tonight. And just as we saw from Rachel's live shot, there is still snow out there. Uh, you could see the sides of the interstate still have a little bit of snow. We are giving you a live scene, a live look here at I-10 at Paisano. Crashes did happen along Paisano earlier today. I-10 East was shut down for hours. We, of course, are happy to say that that area is now open. Now take a look at your screen. This was the scene along Mesa and Argonaut earlier today where ice was reported on the roadway. A challenging drive considering the road was down to just one lane due to construction or ABC7 crews. Again, seeing that wreck there, that crash though is now clear. And we do have a list of places reported to have difficult driving conditions or are closed altogether. Take a look at your screen. In El Paso, Trans Mountain is closed at this moment. Anyone trying to get to the other side of town should take I-10 or Loop 375. We did show you Mesa there with that crash. That crash has cleared, but from Sullen Park to Argonaut, it could be challenging because of the icy roads and the construction. Spur 601, the westbound exit 20A is closed. The main lanes of Spur 601 do remain open. 
and in New Mexico. I-10 from Vado to the Texas state line has ice reported on the roadway, so just be very careful in that area. I-10 in Deming is closed. The weather might not just impact your commute, it could impact your schooling as well. UTEP will have a delayed start tomorrow. No in-person activities will take place until at least 10 a.m. Texas Tech University Health Sciences El Paso will delay opening until noon tomorrow. All in-person classes will resume in the afternoon. EPCC will transition on-site services to remote learning. Staff and student, students should remain at home. YISD will also provide on-site services online through Monday afternoon. Grab-and-go meals will not be available tomorrow. EPISD is off as it is celebrating President's Day. And the frigid cold temperatures and dangerous driving conditions extended to southern New Mexico. ABC 7 News Operations Manager Tom Scott asked vulnerable Las Cruces residents how they plan to stay warm throughout the night. From our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. Temperatures in the teens in the Oregon mountains down into Oregon. <laughs> Do you want to go in the house? Take the proper cold weather precautions. And I am like uh, holding on to dear life. And stay home as much as possible. <laughs> then into downtown Las Cruces. It's where the winds and the snow were falling. Looks like we have a couple of inches of snow here at Apodaca Park. The entire park white. Wintry and windy. Winter storm warning in effect. Difficult it is to use the windshield wiper right now as the moisture is freezing. It looks like you've got gloves, you've got sweaters, you've got all kinds of stuff on. Mm -hmm, but it ain't going to keep me warm for long. It's getting wet, obviously. I mean, they're out here just walking around with just whatever, just the clothes on their backs. You're living right now to stay warm in a box with some blankets. Box and some blankets. And how long have you been in that box? About a day. The temperature was 24. If anybody wants to donate any uh, used heaters, believe me, we will gladly accept them. In Las Cruces with the New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Tom Scott, ABC 7.